Hello friends, welcome back on my channel. Thank you for tuning in. It's a lovely day and I'm back on the gold field. As you can see, there are plants growing. These are pumpkins and the farmer kindly allowed me to detect in between the plants. I have to be careful not to damage them though. And today I will care for a little patch of the field I haven't detected as yet. I hope for some nice finds to present you. Wish me luck and I'll be back when I got my first find. That's what I call a good start into a detecting day. At first I thought it's a big button, but then I realized uh, that it is a big copper coin. Uh, you can see writing on it and I think it's a beautiful coin in general. I'm not sure whether it's German, maybe it's from a different European country. I'm looking forward to giving it a clean. It will be very exciting to find out what it is. There's a beautiful signal close to this pumpkin. Yeah, in the 80s. I hope it isn't too close to the uh, roots of this plant. I will see. Hopefully it's a surface find. It sounds like that. Yeah. Luckily <laughs> uh, it's just a little cartridge. very strident signal and it's a surface find and it looks like a big silver coin. Take a look. Let's find out what it is together. Oh, it looks like a denarius. No. <laughs> uh, seems to be some kind of lid. What a mean little find. But uh, that's part of metal detecting too. I found a beautiful button and uh, I found uh, a button like this before on this field. It's a beautifully designed, very ornate button. Um, very interesting. I wish I could find out uh, from what kind of garment uh, it came. Maybe it uh, is part of a local um, 
specific garment I don't know uh, would be great but uh, it's hard to find out things like that maybe you have an idea about this button uh, I would appreciate if you could comment on it I found uh, several of these badges before um, they have something to do with uh, the police of uh, the World War II time here in Germany um, you can see the German Eagle and the swastika and uh, I'm not sure but uh, underneath uh, the swastika I think I can read 1942 but uh, I don't know um, could be wrong about that and on the back side you can see uh, that the spring is even intact I found evidence of uh, Napoleonic history here um, it's a lead dice and uh, these were made out of uh, musket balls um, that's my theory and uh, it's known that they used to do it um, in military camps to uh, make gaming pieces out of lead and uh, on this one here you can even see the dots uh, the numbers <laughs> it's a very sloppy one uh, it's more rectangular than um, yeah a cube but uh, beautiful historic find and I'm very happy about it It's a beautiful bottle stopper. I don't think that it is uh, that old. Um, yeah, it's fairly modern, I would say. Um, has a chip down here, but uh, it's a beautiful find, anyways. And uh, maybe I can find use for it. When I first saw it, <laughs> I thought it's a boring piece of wire, but then I saw the decorative uh, end bit um, and as you can see it is beautifully designed, um, it looks very Roman, uh, but uh, as I explained in my last video, um, these items can always be uh, fragments of uh, classicistic items as well so it's sometimes hard to tell but uh, I'm uh, pretty sure that this is Roman or ancient uh, I can imagine that it is the handle of some device uh, some instrument um, maybe a spatula or something like that it would be great but um, yeah a rest uh, doubt is in my head still we will see
it's silver. Oh, great, great. Ah, it's a beautiful coin. Uh, it's hammered. And uh, I think it could be an Albus. I found uh, several uh, coins of this kind here on this field. Uh, it's quite remarkable. Um, I can't wait to wash it because uh, these are usually very beautiful and I can see that it's rich in detail and very crisp. So it will be a pleasure seeing uh, what's underneath the dirt. I have it in my hands. Exciting moment and I can already feel that it is something spiky. Uh, let's uh, reveal it together. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It looks interesting. And uh, all I can see uh, at the moment and all I can tell at the moment is uh, that it has to be ancient. Um, it's uh, this typical uh, yeah, design or, or patina, you know, you can tell that uh, relics are ancient when you do the hobby uh, long enough and uh, I think most of you will agree that it has to be something ancient. Uh, what exactly I can tell you at the moment, um, I would appreciate uh, helpful comments. Um, maybe I'm able to find out what it is, we will see. It's another silver coin, take a look. Isn't it beautiful? It's uh, 20 Pfennig from the late 1800s. Um, 1875 to be precise. Uh, take a look at this beautiful coin. Um, it's in perfect nick. Um, you can see uh, all details. Uh, it got a very nice silver patina. I'm not sure whether I should uh, clean it too much. Yeah, lovely coin and I'm very happy about it. Take a look at my finds box over there. Um, there you can see my last good find. It's uh, a badge of some sort, I would say. Uh, got a copper color, but I'm not sure whether it's copper because copper would have turned green. Don't know. I found gold. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, it's one of these uh, Rentenpfennige from the Weimar Republic time. Aluminium bronze, gold shiny. They keep on fooling me. <laughs>
I really enjoy using the Expedios. It's the modern and professional metal detector on the market today. Especially the new V4 upgrade brought some very powerful and useful new features. I really enjoy to use them. This is modern cutting edge technology. But how did metal detectors perform 30 years ago? If you are interested in this question, just watch my video Little Journey Back in Metal Detecting History. I will put a link in the video description. In this video you can see my second metal detector I bought in 1992 and the detector itself is from the late 80s. So if you are interested in old machines, just click on the link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed my video today and I hope you like the finds I made. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would be pleased if you do. Thank you for that. Until next time, I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Bye bye, au revoir and auf Wiedersehen.